Hey there everybody, my name is Ketemar and today we're gonna start a new series or a new let's play if you want to call it uh, like that. It's gonna be Mafia the Definitive Edition. I'm super excited to play this game for you guys. This is the game I was talking about uh, in the previous videos. I am so excited to play this one because I've never, I've never actually played that one in particular. Uh, I was introduced to the Mafia series uh, with the second one, with Mafia 2, and I loved it instantly. I never did it on the channel, but I loved it instantly when I uh, back when it came out and stuff. I played it way back when it came out, and I loved it. I played ever since I played it like three or four times. I loved that game so much. And the third one wasn't that good, boys. I played it only once, maybe a second time. But I don't, I'm not really a big fan of it. But the first one, apparently it's really good and I want to play the first one, right? I really wanted to and uh, since it's a game that I've never played, for me it's a brand new game. It's a brand new Mafia game for me. So we're going to jump right into it, not waste any more time and uh, just start it up, really. Let's go, boys. Tommy, Thomas Angel, Detective Norman. You alone? <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee, thanks. Deputy Beak. No thanks. Suit yourself. So. Position for me. That's right. But 
if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any, uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you a Morello case. Right out of the gate. Tough like the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? I uh, so want money, some sort of immunity. None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a little kid? Wife and daughter. No one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. <laughs> Look at you. Surely gas, you haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. But, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. So she didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. <laughs> I was a cab driver back in three. Here we go, boys. Starting it up. Back in the 30s. So, 1930. Now this is obviously a prequel to the second one. Nights, the it's gonna be better. fantastic to play with all the music the and stuff. I'm not gonna be able to to I hear it. And Sam. Alright, alright, I'm driving. Let's go, boys. Starting hot, I see. Oh, the feeling of the drive is not too bad. Uh, we'll see how it goes once the you... Oh, yeah. It's when you actually turn around that it's get, it gets pretty bad, boys. One for now. And this car is fast. What the hell? I can't compete with my fucking... Jesus fucking Christ. The hell, man! I've got a taxi car, my guy. I can't compete with that. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. All right. Route the desta uh, destination on your map. Good. So now it's basically like the classic ones. I'm gonna let them uh, let them go. There we go. I see you listening, cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. I ain't do I don't I don't want any trouble here, alright? I'm just doing my job. 
All right, we're going in. Man, I'm driving like a maniac right now. You see how I'm stopping? Can you not break into my face like that, buddy? Now, I one thing I did do is you had options for the uh, how the cop were interacting with you and everything. Yo, watch what you watch where you drive, dumbass. All right. So yeah, I had uh, I had options. Let's open the map pretty quick. All right. So this is the map. It looks pretty much the same as the first one. Uh, for the most part, right? So we got a little Italy, Chinatown, Central uh, D, uh, thing, downtown, Greyhound. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun exploring all of this. And plus, you you can go all the way there too. Uh, this is the entire map, boys. So, uh, one thing I do wonder is if there's actually gonna be an Easter egg like the Titanic or something like that in this one, because in the second one there was an Easter egg like the Titanic. Whenever you used to go okay, there, right? The Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna question anymore. Uh, I know you can control your speed, but yeah, one thing I did do for the police and everything, I made it so that uh, it's on simulation. Ah, so they're shit. basically gonna go ahead and. Oh shit. Bitch! Get out of here! There we go. Now, who's gonna repair my taxi? Fuck. Anyways, boys. Uh, I made it so the police would interact a lot more with how we do things. Watch out, buddy! Jesus Christ. There we go. Yeah, I made it so the police would really, like, interact a lot with you. The driving's actually pretty good in this game. I love the driving in this game. Uh, now, usually Mafia games are pretty good with the driving and stuff. Whoa, now. I should have braked a little bit more right there. Alright, let's go. We're going in right here. We good here? Oh, there we go. One last. I think there's still more. Jeez. Back to the neighborhood? Oh my god, that's one of them. Motherfucker, shoot! He's gonna go straight into me. We gotta go right now. Where did he come from, though? My market. How did I make it there? Holy shit. I'm a taxi driver, a maniac, though. What the hell is this? Yeah, the police is going to interact a lot more with us, boys. Whenever we do stop signs and everything, on Arcade, which was the regular thing, it was made so that you basically could do anything but crimes. But uh, simulation, it's literally like the police and everything. So you can't, you got to watch out for your stop signs uh, whenever they are near you, I guess. Watch out for anything... Uh, per, uh, suspicious you might be doing okay, boys so close. I'm gonna drive all like a maniac because it doesn't matter really right now wait here what for you want a little something from the Don or not Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, 
I'll hesitate to ask. If Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone ask where you got that money? You want it at poker. Scratches on your car. You swerve. Keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Yeah, of course. What about the bullet holes? See you around, kid. Not the old lady that's gonna be doing that, my guy. The hell. That's gonna be tough to explain, but we don't much have much of a choice, do we? What Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. That night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? What do you mean? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. What's that? What's with that attitude, my girl? All right. Where to? So where to? St. Michael's Church. Directly. All right, all right, we're going. Careful, please. I'm I driving like careful. five miles an hour first. right now, or five kilometers an hour. Can you chill? Let's uh, let's tap that, boys. And now we got the speed later. That's what I was wondering the first time around, boys. Sorry, sorry, my bad. There's, I think it's two lanes over here, so we should be fine. All right, put on the radio, huh? Turn off the radio, so she doesn't it's like the radio. Like never My God, so what type of lady is this? She doesn't even like music. The hell? Eyes on the road, please. Okay. Man, what type? Yeah, we we got that uh, that that type of uh, lady right now. Oh, oh, I gotta do my stop really quick. I'm sorry, but the tram's getting in the way right now. There's nobody here. There's no cops or anything, so we're good. If there's no cops, we can uh, drive a little bit like a maniac, right? It's just if there's cops, I'm, I'm driving on the speedometer and I'm doing everything possible to not... Like, there, there was one right there, the blue dots on the mini-map. These, the, these are the ones that are the cops, boys, so we gotta watch out for them. Man, I'm, I'm so uh, excited to actually get the chance to... To explore this map, boys, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's really gonna be a lot of fun. And it's awesome too because you got the tram racks and everything. So it makes you feel like you're really back in time and everything. I mean, it's the same place, right? I think it's Empire Bay as well. I'm not entirely sure, but I recognize that church. It seems like the same church uh, that was in the second one. There's some places that look the same, boys. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh my god, I'm sorry, lady. Here you go. St. Michael's. That that'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. It felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Move on, lady. Good lord. What the hell was that all about? Italians are all the same. What did you just say to me? Drive without the radio. What did you just say to me? Yeah, that's right. You better run away. You got something against Italians, my girl? I should be do the trick right there because I believe that's where we're supposed to go on the map. Unless we're supposed... Is there another objective somewhere or... It doesn't really show us, right? No, it doesn't show us. Alright, so we just gotta stop because it give, it's giving me a marker right here. Oh, there's another guy right there. Okay, so we're just... We're just doing our business right now. Excuse me, buddy. Can you move on? We're fine here. All right, I'm right there. Let's go. Got another client, boys. Where to, buddy? Our gallery. 
Give me there quick. Quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Alright, so we gotta get there quick, boys. Alright, I can do that. Out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Fine, fine. Man, what's with these clients today? They they, they don't wanna talk, they don't wanna do anything. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. But till then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Jeez. Yeah, these people uh, that I'm I'm getting into my uh, car right now, they don't, they're not much of a talk, do they? Swift Cola, I like it. Curious to uh, try some of these. Some buildings are still in construction and everything. I gotta slow down, there's a cop right uh, nearby. There's cops everywhere in this town, fuck man. I'm just scared. You better chill out, my guy. I gotta follow the cop. Are you serious? Let uh, put on the spittle, uh, spittle ma uh, meter right here. I know I gotta make it quick, buddy, but uh, we're right there. Yeah, we're right there. We're good. Why do I have to follow the cop for right here? Yo, what's going on here? You okay, buddy? Yeah, I don't wanna run stop signs uh, right, uh, right on the the side of the uh, the cop. Right, that would be pretty bad. Thanks, uh, we made it just in time, too. Cents. I'll spend it all at once. 50 cents? That That's quite a lot. That was a long ways ahead, I guess. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Alright then. We're moving on to the next, boys. Alright, where to, buddy? We're just doing taxi drives Ooh, boy, today, boys. That's gonna be like fun. Shit. I love it. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Most figures where are we going little italy 21st street okay. all right then if i don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath you don't tell them when i break the limit good deal right deal yeah Got good any, deal isn't it uh, oh, we're going in today. boys yeah, some but never enough of them Who's got the money for a cab ride since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I am drunk and don't know better. This guy told me this guy's broke. I'm going to flip my shit if I taking him to a drive and he's broke. Yeah, but I've seen him go after guys for less. Yes, so if they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <laughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. You don't need to do your stop sign forever, man. There's not even uh, lights. I don't see lights. I don't. I'm not entirely sure Nearly if there. lights are good or not. Where are the they? Because I don't see any of them. It's kind of hey, weird with the tram racks and everything. It's weird to see. It's hard to see. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. We did like three drives, we're already going to take a break. What is this? Oh, Fucking geez. Christ. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? The fuck is wrong with you all? Yeah. You finna to die or attacking me like that, man? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help and sell Gary's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much boxing for a while. Motherfucker, oh, yeah. do this! <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. We better run, man. For the, these money fucking assholes. I mean, okay, we gotta go, boys. Vault! That's kind of weird. Pressing Y, boys. We're going, we're going. They're shooting at me, man. What the fuck? What is wrong with these guys? Let's go. I was just doing my job. Leave me alone. We gotta go, boys. Fuck. Get out of my... F oh, my. They just shot that lady. 
I'm sorry. My God, they just they she didn't mean no harm. She was just in the way. Fuck, man, that's rough. Let's get up. Go, 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 boys. We gotta go in big time. Jump that shit right now. Good lord, sprint, motherfucker. Do I, my, do I need more like stamina or something? Because I feel like stamina is gonna get pretty hard right here. Yo, I need help. They just shot a lady in front of me. Doing kid. Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, he just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Yeah, right. Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay then. See your boys around. Go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. Least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Molotov party. That sounds ominous. What did I call you? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him on account of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. You hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. <laughs> and Tom, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful. Okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? No. All right. No. Let's take a look around really quick, boys, before we move on. What is this? A letter. So, Don Salieri, I'm writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there's any further arrangements you uh, would wish for, let me know. Okay. Romano. All right. We'll probably find out who that guy is. Yeah, I... I'm watching. He's gonna drive the boss? Got it. I get yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Chill, chill. I hate sitting around. So I can't go there because obviously people are gonna notice me. So I gotta follow Tommy, I get uh, or... Is that Tommy? Uh, no, I'm Tommy. Who's that? Who is that guy, though? I was just looking at a letter, my guy. Everybody's still stanced up these days, I swear. It is the Prohibition era, I guess. It's gonna get pretty hard for everyone. 
Now already, I can I feel like Polly. I think that's his, his name, right? I feel like Polly is a little bit like the the character from Goodfellas that um, what's his name? Fuck, Joe Pesci did. I believe it, it sounds like the same type of character and stuff like that. If it is the case, it's pretty dangerous. There's the fence right there, boys. We can probably interact with him a few, uh, few often times, I guess. Oh, I got just the thing. This plastic should do the trick. If the bat don't work out for you, I got a few cocktails here. Careful with him, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> We're getting some cocktails. All right. I mean, it's the name of the mission, I guess. So this here is the fence. So if I need my, if I need anything like uh, weapon-wise, I can go and see him, I guess. Really? Does he now? Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> Fuck you, Polly. You can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I've been busting your balls. <laughs> see, I see you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> mm, nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. It's good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a cracked egg. Well, you bring him a stolen car, I'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha ha ha, Brad, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Well, well, well. Oh, giving us this motor. Look who's hiding what it is, he truly is. Me get off of the... No. Get me off of the radio, I don't need it. Don't want the radio and get copyrighted for no reason right here. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin cab! Yeah, this is probably from the 20s. This is probably a 10 years old car right here, boys. Good lord, it breaks really... It doesn't... It barely has brakes, boys. What the hell? Yeah, this thing, uh... This thing is a really early car. I love, I have something for cars, boys, uh, early cars. I don't know about you guys, but the earlier the car, the, the better it looks to me. I don't know why. I just love like these early cars and stuff, especially this one. This right here, that car that you just saw right there, the, this one, this is literally like a 1910 uh, type of car right there. The first cars and stuff like that. This is literally around that time. I love these types of cars. The earliest I can get, I love them, boys. Yeah, I really like this. Uh, but I don't care too much about the dialogue. Right here during the, I mean, it's fun and all, but this is the moment I can talk. This is going to be a lot of cutscenes and stuff, so I might as well talk and all. I love, I love me some periods like this. This is why I love the Mafia games, because it's literally like it's GTA, but in the old times. So I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect for me. It fits me uh, like a shoe, boys. It's it's really good. Well, if it don't go fine. Try not to let them see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. So we got... Look at that city right here. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? This car doesn't go fast at all. It goes... It goes maximum 50 miles. Holy shit, boys. We're not gonna go very far with that. 
And I, look how fast I'm going. I'm not going very far. I'm going to straight towards a cop car, though. I gotta be careful. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after little little. Ah, we got cops. Fuck. All right, they're still looking for us, so now they're gonna be looking for the car. Fuck, man. I just drove way too fast for the for the cops to. Oh God. We're about to be on a drive, my my dude. The mission's right there. The mission's right there. You led the cops to a job. Are you serious? I mean, the mission was right there. I don't know what happened last time. I tried to cut corners. I ended up being right next to a cop car. And I got in trouble because of that. So now this time around, I'm not cutting corners. Now this fucking cop car is probably going to... Yeah. All right. This cop car is literally going to do this. Yeah, we're going in. We're going in and we're taking this slowly. I know. Okay, this cop car is not following us. Good. We're good, boys. We're right there. Just a couple more seconds. Speed it up a little bit. You can actually boost yourself up quite a bit uh, by pressing A. Trying to ram it. Boost you up a little bit. All right, we're right there. Fuck, man. I told you I was on simulation. It's going to be a lot tougher now. Um, that's the, the challenge I'm giving myself, I guess, is for the cop wise. Is you got to be careful when you're driving because they can uh, uh, stop you at, uh, at stop signs and stuff like that. So the red, li uh, red lights. So you got to drive safely, boys. That's a, uh, that's a learning lesson for today. Uh, for today. All right, we're sneaking. Let's go. Go quiet, man. Yeah, like that. Yeah, you got it, Very nice little Easter egg right there, Teddy Bear boys. You know, would go uh, would go crazy on this one. How do we do this? I go on this side. Oh shit! I forgot that oh, you gotta press Y in order to vault over things, boys. Completely forgot about this, man. I got hold on now. I'll be w watch out because these guys could see me. All right, we're good. We're in. Take cover. Right, he's getting distracted by uh, by Polly, boys. Gotta take him out. Let's do it. Sneaky style. What the? Oh shit! I did not. Oh my god. How do I? Oh, wow. Okay. Take him out, buddy. Uh, take you fucking out. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I did. It's not like I, I was trying to do that. I literally. Oh, shit. I, I didn't. I just didn't know how to do it. What the hell? I didn't know how to go quiet. I didn't know how to do the sneak options. I'm gonna have to figure that one out, boys. I got a hit big time because of that. All right, let's swing that bat. Kick that shit out of those cars, boys. Just like that. There we go. There we go. Just break the car in half. Whoa! Motherfuckers! No! All right, let's go. Oh shit! So the the combat in this game, pretty weird, boys. But kick him ass. We got some baseball bats, so we got something to work with. Boom. All right, let's go, boys. Break the shit out of those cars. There we go. This car is destroyed. We're going to break everything, buddy. Hold on. I know you want me to draw some Molotovs, buddy, but I want to destroy this uh, these cars. Okay, we're good now. Oh, shit. I've got some Molotovs, boys. Boom. And just like that. There we go. That should do it. Oh, shit. Watch out now. That's it right there. How'd you know this is Dino's car? Got some health right there. Let me go ahead and take the health. There we go. We're going to need it. Oh, fuck. There's going to be cops after us. Uh, this time around, we actually did it on purpose. Uh, this time around, the cops have a reason to try and stop us. What the hell? Okay, alright. 
get the fuck out of here, I guess. Fucking cops are everywhere. What the hell? No, you don't. Oh, fuck. Yeah, drive fast and avoid cops. What do you mean? That's what I'm trying to do. The cops are right there. Watch out, buddy. I know where I'm going. We gotta go through that bridge right there. Gotta take that bridge. They're on, they won't be looking for us if we take that bridge. Oh my god. Alright, no more cops after us. We should be fine. They didn't take the plate in. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. So you could have told me earlier. Could have told me that earlier when I actually... The first time around I got caught by the police. Taking out the guy. I'm going super Taking fast right now. Car. This yeah. is... That seems yeah. like a different this car than the other one we were driving. That's for like sure. The first time, Tom. Not the same model at all. Driving like a maniac you, right now, boys. This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother, your uncle. You're Drive fucking kidding me. Dr watch where you're driving, dumbass. This I guy's just turning you like that. Alright, we're in, boys. Your brother, your uncle. Oh, some guy, We've arrived. Sir. Let's put it into the garage, I guess, the car. We got, to, we got yourself a new drive, buddy. Alright, stop with the dialogue. We got your uh, a new car, yourself a new car, buddy. So we're going back. Get, get into the car. Are you serious? What do you mean, get into the car? Oh, hold on. What is this right there? Super science? Yeah, there we go. We got those comics books again, boys. I guess I gotta drive properly. Ah, there we go. Now I gotta... Okay. You, you know, I, it was literally two centimeters away from it. You can fix that broken window, can't you? Come on now. Alright, let's go in. We're gonna go see Mr. D uh, the Don right here. Tell him that the job's complete. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey boss, it's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good, sit down. You see Morello? Nah, but he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make is what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aced the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? 
Yes, Mr. Celia. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tommy. But if you abuse my trust... <laughs> Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Ordinary routine. Celieri's bar was slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. All right. Looks like uh, we got a mission, boys. Our first big mission, I believe. Let's go in. It's about to start to be real, real big, I feel like. We got a bunch of plates. We can look around if we want. Um, I don't know if we should do that, though. Don't know if we're allowed to look around. I'll try at least. We'll see if I'm getting in trouble if I look around or something. There's some colorful doors here and there. I don't think I'm there's anything here for us so we'll just go in and uh, do our thing really let's go in boys so mr. Don you got something for us here he is sorry I'm late take a seat that's collection day boys so Tommy you'll drive Paul and Sam can handle the rest it'll be routine just a handful of stocks today bill at the motel was a little short last month We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morello stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bill's still due, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Vinny says to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Got to got to talk to Vinny. All right. Worry about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I want to try these uh whatever that she's cooking. I want to try uh try uh this, right? Whatever Luigi's cooking. I want to try a piece of a uh, piece of that. We got some stuff right here, another thing right here. Hold on. Newspapers, boys. One year since the crash. Well, yeah, so we're in the middle of the crash right here, boys. The money is not good right now. Everybody's in the depression. We're right in the middle of it, boys. That's Or even at the beginning of it. So it's going to get a lot tougher real quick. I don't think I'm supposed to go there. I, I was supposed to go on the other side. We'll go there really quick, boys. We're going to do one, vi uh, one hour videos like usually. Uh, like you, we usually do uh, now uh, for these longer games or these main games. You giving me a gun, my guy? Am I gonna need it? You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right, that don't count. Point it at the target over there. The target right there? Good posture, real mean, bang. Bring a 
up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. Not at me, you moron. I open reload, huh? Away you go. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Hit all right, yourself. good. So we can all store a weapon. When shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, good. The Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. What's this? All right, good. So we got Dim Detective. We got a couple of uh, comic books. I'm kind of interested in that, though. I want to see those comic books. Hold on. Collection Detective. So that's really cool. Let me uh, check out that really quick. Is there? Is that all it is? Oh, flip, zoom out. No, toggle prompt. This, that's it. I can't uh, do anything with it. There's probably pages to it, I guess, that it can get. We got the Super Science. Seems like a weird, uh, weird ass comic book right there. Let's look. Ki what kind of comic book do we have? Do we have the the same ones as the previous, the uh, the second one where we got these uh, these naked ladies in it? If that's the case, I'm not gonna show it to you guys, but uh, that's uh, basically Playboy, right? So. I'm interested to see if there's actually Playboys in this one as well. It's kind of funny, collecting those and everything. All right, so I'm gonna stop it right here, boys. Leave uh, uh leave it uh for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.